Well, you might have noticed throughout the summer we've been talking a lot about bees. We first showed you some video last week of an Alliance man's car filled with a giant hornet's nest. There was also an umbrella full of bees in Times Square. 27 First News reporter Nathan Lahota finds out what's going on. This job is more watching than anything else. I want to make sure I get their entrance right. The man behind the mask is Travis Watson, better known as the Bee Man. He has been working from sunup to sundown for the past few weeks getting rid of bees. There it is. He and the Ohio Department of Agriculture agree that September is when bees, wasps, and hornets get more aggressive. The new wasps are, are hungrier because they're not getting fed by the older wasps. They're trying to get food in as many places as possible because they're trying to get ready for winter. And while they all get aggressive this time of year, experts mm -hmm. say you're more likely to get stung by hornets and even more likely to get stung by yellow jackets. People will see a yellow jacket. It looks very similar to a honeybee, and they just assume it's a honeybee, so they think that it's okay to approach them. When in reality, you know, they're yellow jackets, they're very aggressive, and they will defend their nest and sting you. So if you see a nest, how do you tell them apart? Well, experts say that bees have a very distinct honeycomb-looking nest, while wasps and hornets have a pale paper-type nest like this one. And if you can't pay to have the professionals remove the nest for you, there are a few things and myths you should consider before doing it yourself. One is that just because it's night doesn't mean they're less active. If anything, they're more aggravated. And so if you come stomping around their entrance and start putting stuff in their nest, they might come out and sting you. Early in the morning, just as the sun is rising, that's the time. You'll also need to gear up properly. Completely cover yourself with clothes, long sleeves, long pants. Also, if you're going to mix chemicals, do it outside. Make sure to bag up the hive and don't wait it out until the cold weather comes. It can be pretty toxic to you, but if you mix bleach with some hot water, that'll work on yellow jackets in the ground. In Canfield, Nathan Hoda, WKBN 27 First News.